I don't know if any of you have ever taken CPR training or emergency training, but one of the things I learned many, many years ago is when someone passes out, leave them on the floor. Because people get worried and they stand them up, and the reason they passed out is they need to get blood to their brain and their blood pressure dropped, and if you pick them up, you're actually not doing them any favors. Life knows how, what it needs to do to keep you moving forward. Isn't that a powerful thing to realize? No matter what's going on in your life, your body, life in your body, wants to keep moving forward. And it will do whatever it needs to to keep you standing. All of us in the design of things actually are in the same vibrational place, whether we want to find words to describe it or not. But if you think about the fact that we all have a connection to this invisible reality, we're aware of it, and we all have a manifest world, and so what's right in the middle of it is me and you. So we're all in the same place in this grand design. And there are words that are used to try and describe design, and lots of people have issue with almost all of them because in people's understanding of the design mentally, they think it's about upper and lower and inside and outside and exclusion and power. I want to say I'm not speaking from that place at all today. And if we take a moment to remember, we all have this, we all have that. So when I'm standing with you in that place, I don't have any reason to do anything of any damage to you. And if I do, I'm actually cursing myself. So when I think of these words of patriarchy and matriarchy, I'd like to just remove from the scope of our understanding that it's about exclusion. I would like to use them with regards to men and women taking their place. Who's going to be the steward of all this? And there is a huge um, problem in our culture that says, you start leading and you're in trouble because you're trying to put something over on me. Who do you think you are leading? How about being myself? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm being myself and bringing my own power and blessing if you can powerfully bless, are you leading, and should you be then judged for being a powerful blesser? People do it. There is a toxic gas that is emitted from two human beings being unholy towards each other. It's hurtful. It's cursing. I, there's strong words, but um, it's what's happening. And there is wisdom in the fitness of things, and there's wisdom in knowing what you want to intimately engage with. But the design and the pattern brings life and life more abundantly to all the parts. So if you find yourself in a place of excluding, hurting, accusing, you've taken yourself right out of the design and the pattern. I think for the longest time, I have expressed my appreciation for people who are living their lives consciously, recognizing that in some ways they have to compensate for the people who are not. But can we hold a place to say, what is your gift and how can I bring it and how can I create with you? And know that there is some perfection in when I'm holding my place, this will work out because I will maintain the sacredness of this valley. And I will see my vision increases when I'm offering blessing and understanding. And my vision gets really dysfunctional when I'm doing the opposite. Every person who comes here, can we see that they've come to be part of a creative, holy design and welcome their participation? <laughs>